I'm Essence Atkins, and this is Leah's Lemonade. Well, I wish I could give you the tea, but mine's just a little bit tart, and that's why it's called Leah's Lemonade. We are live at Essence Festival with the essence of the culture. Come on, I mean, Essence Atkins, how are you, boo? I'm awesome. How are you? I'm doing well, and first of all, I have to tell you this. I love you. I love how unapologetic you are about your relationship with God. I am in a hip-hop world, entertainment world, but I love Jesus, so watching you uh, as an actress and someone who is a face for the culture, always representing your faith. How important to you is it to maintain that, you know, with the roles you play or how you go about your image in, in general? I mean, you know, the roles I play are separate. The fact that a lot of them lend themselves to positivity is a great thing, but humanity is broken, yeah. and, and it's important that First and foremost, I acknowledge that I am too broken and that it's Christ who strengthens me. Come on. You know what I mean? So that becomes my testimony that I live as essence. Yeah. The the roles that I've done, some of them have been silly, ridiculous, whatever. And you know, I think as artists in the Christian or Christian artists in the space, we have to decide for ourselves what is good for our soul and yeah. and what we need to guard our hearts. For yeah. me, I haven't had an issue playing people who were broken, who were alcoholics, who you know what yeah. I mean? Those things, um, those things are a part of humanity. Yeah. You know, they're a part of humanity. However, what I try to do in my life is be as authentic and be a person that mirrors good works and chases after his righteousness. And so because that is my mandate in my life, I think that it's it's lend itself to yeah. to a great reputation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the and the roles keep flowing. I mean, you have a new project, Papa's House. Uh huh. Tell me about it. Ah, uh, Papa's House, CBS this fall. It's coming on Monday nights at 8:30 after the neighborhood. So excited, Damon okay. Wayne's. Yep. Damon Wayne's Jr. Get him out there now. Listen, now the thing that you guys don't understand is that y'all know I've worked with the Wayne's family a lot yeah. since 1995 but I had never worked with Damon Sr. Mm. So this has been like something I've been chomping at the bit to do. And he is brilliant and he is wonderful. And the dynamic between them as father and son, it's about Damon Sr.'s life. He is Papa. His whole life is being invaded by his son, by his co-worker, <laughs> by his daughter-in-law, by his grandkids, by his, um, his wife's father, who is also his rival. And it, we are all kind of encroaching upon Papa. Yeah. But the thing about that I love about the show is that besides being funny, besides being heartfelt, besides being in a real life father and son duo, which is not on television anywhere, it's a show you can watch with anybody. You can yeah. watch it with your kids, you can watch it with your girlfriends, you can watch it with your homeboys, you can watch it with your community, you can watch the show with your family, and I love that about it. Oh, I love that. Now, we are here because of Music is Therapy 614. How has music helped you with therapy and your mental health? How does music heal you? Music is a mood. Music is a, a wonderful tool. It is, I mean, praise is, is such a, is such an awesome way to get out of um, suffering. And music is so healing. Um, and Essence Fest has always put together just an incredible lineup, and this year is no different. You know, we're celebrating Usher's Confession 20 years, we're celebrating the end of um, an era, which is Frankie Beverly and Mays being retiring into from performing. So this is gonna be an amazing experience. And then of course we end in it with Janet. Like I mean, what? You know what I mean? Like we just have so many wonderful artists, and I think that this gathering allows us to really unapologetically stand in our greatness. Mm, yeah, that's really good. Well, Essence, listen, you got everybody to go talk to. Thank you so much for stopping by the Lemonade My Stand. Pleasure. Listen, Lemonade Stand, you know what it is. This is culture right here. Grab a cup, throw it back, and sip on all of that.